Hello, Camp McDowell campers. It's special session arts and crafts with good old me, Miss Lee. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Um, today, we are going to do a pour. Some people call it a Dutch pour. Don't know why. Don't know if the Dutch created it, but it's called a pour. As you can see, I have a canvas here. Unfortunately, my little canvas suffered a little boo-boo. It came to me all boo-booed, so we're gonna work with a boo-boo. Anyway, what I have done is I have gone ahead and mixed colors. Like, we have a beautiful blue and a really pretty kind of, what would you call that? Kind of a key lime green and we have a uh, orange that would be a uh, for all of all of you that know this that would be a Tennessee orange so there's Tennessee orange for the University of Tennessee okay and then we have this beautiful lemon yellow see we've got the lemon yellow okay <gasps> And what kind of red do we have? Would that be Alabama? Oh my gosh. Roll Tide. Here we go. We got a beautiful red here. And we've got some black. Now what I've done is I have taken regular acrylic paint. And I will show you the paint. I just regular acrylic paint just regular acrylic paint and then what I did with the paint was I added white glue so we added some all-purpose you can use Elmer's glue you can use school glue you can use any type of glue you want so you want this to be about a 50-50 mix and you know sometimes maybe you, it maybe it's not quite 50 percent glue but the the whole point let me find one that's going to be easier for you to see let's try the green this would be like um the irish the fighting irish here we go so anyway well it's not dark enough green to be fighting irish but we want it to be kind of like syrup. We don't want it to go drip, drip, drip. And we don't want it so thick that it sticks. We just want it to flow. So once you mix the glue and the paint together, you want to find that consistency, that right consistency, where it's not too runny, not too thick, it just, it's kind of like the three little bears. It has to be just right. Okay, just right. We want to make sure that it's just right. And then we have our canvas. And what I add last, after I've mixed, I've got it to the right consistency. And I've got it where it just runs off the end of, of the popsicle stick. I add, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight drops of oil. I, I found this oil. Um, they want you to use kind of a silicone oil and any kind of oil is gonna work. So you want to put a few drops of the oil. If you don't have that, I've got some mineral oil and that works really good and it's inexpensive. And then you can use alcohol or you can use soap detergent if you have none of the other things. But for today, we're going to use the oil. So let's get started. I'm going to start. I have some white here. It's the glue, it's white, and it has the oil in it. And we're gonna take, th take that and we're just gonna put a small little spot right there in the middle. And what color should we do next? <gasps> Let's go 
with the blue. Oh my goodness, that would be Kentucky, Kentucky blue. We're gonna put a little bit of the blue right there in the middle of the white. Oh my goodness. Then Roll Tide. Roll Tide's gonna roll right over Kentucky. And we're gonna put the Roll Tide right here. As Jamie so loves to say, Roll Tide. And then, let's see, what can we, what, what would be a good one? I think I'm just going to put a little, uh, just a little bit of the black. If you can see, I'm just putting a little bit of the black. Maybe a, a little bit more. Like that. Oops. Well, you know, spots happen. I'm going to now, I'm, I think I'm going to come in on top of that black with a little bit of my green. There we go. And then I'm going to add some more orange to it. We'll put a little bit of orange in the middle of that green. And then I'm gonna put, what have we not gotten? Oh, the yellow, oh, the yellow. It's yellow, lemon yellow. We're gonna put some yellow in there. I'm Then I'm gonna put a little bit of black, little bit of black. Then we're going to go back and we're going to put some white right on top of that black. And we're just going to keep putting a little bit of color. We're going to keep pouring that little bit of color in that center. Oh, we haven't done any red for a while. So we want to make sure that Alabama is well represented. So we're going to put, we're going to put a good thing of red on there. Then we're going to take some more blue. So what happens if we mix blue and red together? Do you know what happens when we get blue and red together? It makes, who can guess? Oh my goodness, it makes purple. Oh, but how do you make green? Well, if you were to mix yellow in with the blue, you would get green so what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just going through here and I'm just pouring just a little bit in the middle of each, each ring and I'm letting it work its way out I'm gonna put a little bit more white in here Ooh, it kind of looks like an eye right now doesn't that look like an eye and I'm gonna put a little bit white and I think I want to do some more red I think I really like this red. Okay, Jamie, roll tide. There we go. And then we're gonna come back. We're gonna do some Kentucky blue over the top of the red. There we go. A little bit more black. And then we're gonna put some more green. Now you want to stir them just to, just stir it a little bit each time because remember, oil doesn't mix well with water. And if these are too thick, you put a little bit of water in there to get them where they run. See how it's still it's runny, but it's not watery. You don't want it too loose see how nice it pours you don't want it too loose okay i'm gonna put a little bit more of the black because black just adds drama so we're gonna put some black some more red oh we haven't done yellow in a while we should do yellow now how do you get orange how do you get orange well, you mix red and yellow together. Red, yellow, and blue are called our primary colors. So, they're not really, each one of our colors has kind of a little bit different weight from each other. And so they're going to spread out differently. And they all have oil in them. And you can see how that 
the black oil kind of comes up a little bit there. Let's see, we're gonna put a little bit more blue. The black kind of just sunk down in there. We're gonna put blue and a little more red. There. Now. Now we're ready. So, whoops, sorry about that. Let's put you back where you can see really good what's gonna happen now. Okay, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to tilt it. I'm gonna tilt it this way. I'm gonna tilt it this way. I'm gonna tilt it this way and this way and this way. And we're gonna kind of get it to spread out a little bit on our canvas here. It's okay if it runs off the edges. It can run off the edges. Okay, see I'm getting right there to the point. Ooh, right off that edge. And we're gonna just kind of let it go to all the edges like that. And we're gonna just let it drip on our paper. Make sure you cover your surface with paper. We wanna make sure that we cover our surface with paper. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to set that down and I'm gonna rinse off my hands real quick. Okay, we're letting it kind of, as you can see, we're starting to see some, some bubbles in here, some bubbles. Now, I'm gonna take my blow dryer and we're going to turn it on low. Let's see if we can make sure this thing goes. We're gonna turn it on low. And then we're just going to Put it way up high, and we're going to start moving our, our paint around. I'm going, to move, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to move this paint over here. I'm going to move the paint over there. And see all those different colors coming out? I'm going to take this green and red, and I'm going to push it right on up. I'm going to take this, push it right off, and push this right off, like so. I'm going to push the, the paint to the edges of the canvas. there. Now I'm going to kind of go around and touch up the sides of the canvas so we, we have, you know, it, it's it's kind of painted so we want the edges to kind of be painted so I'm just going to kind of pat the edges a little bit. If, you, if you've got some gloves or something that you can wear this helps because you don't really want to get paint all over your clothes and you don't want to get paint all over you there it's looking oh my goodness look 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 at how the green is popping through the red right there let me bring this up where you can really see it let's see if i can get it up here for you and you can really see how that red and the waves and you can move move it around and get those cells to open up. I'm gonna see if I, I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna lose those little green cells. I love what's going on here. I wanna pull this this way. I don't wanna lose my green, my, that red streak in there is so pretty. So pretty. Look how dramatic it looks right in here. And the more you you let it go, the more it's going to get those colors to come out. 
I just want to open up that red a little bit more. So I'm going to get it to flow down here. And hopefully, I could probably, let's see what happens if I just put a few more drops of red in here and see if they, I can take a few drops and I can take like so. And I can get them. Now we're going to let that red kind of spread out a little bit. And we're going to give it time. And what's going to happen now is it's going to continue to kind of run off the sides a little bit. And we're going to still see, see this green right in here. And see how all of the different colors are going to start popping to the surface. And that's the oil that we put in it. It's causing the colors to separate and the colors to come up and to form what we call cells. It almost looks like marble. So anyway, let me rinse off my gloves real quick before I take them off because I want to reuse them. And you absolutely will probably want to wear gloves when you're doing this because it, uh, it is kind of messy. So I'm going to take my gloves off. And we may take the blow dryer and just work it uh, just a little bit more because I really like, I'm really liking that red. And I want, I want to get a little bit more red around here. So I'm going to turn the blow dryer on low. If you watch, you can see all of these wonderful little things coming in. Hold on just a second. We're going to go for a ride. Let me see if I can get you unhooked from this contraption. And we're going to go take a look at it up close and personal. Okay. Up close and personal. We're going to go down here and see all those little spots. How beautiful it is. Let's turn this light so it's not so bright on here. Okay. Now we can see all those pretty colors and the reds. Look at the reds. And the blue veins. Ooh, look what my green's doing. My green's popping. So we're just going to let this sit for a while and we're going to let it continue to grow and we're going to have a beautiful piece. Well, campers, we did another one. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. I miss y'all. I will see you soon. Okay, next art class. Bye.